Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. In our last episode, we made it to the top of Mount Colts, ran into Sabin, who's Edgar's twin brother, and now we're going to make our way to the Returner's Hideout, finally. Game? Of course, get into a random battle right before the entrance. Now again, Sabin should be blitzing pretty much all the time. Which is why I have him in the back row, because blitzes don't use his weapon to determine damage, so there's no reason to have him in the front row, really. Alright. Edgar, but I'm playing as Locke. I guess the game kind of expects Edgar to be the lead character by default. Now, before we follow that guy, let's get a green cherry, alright. Oh, and... This guy sells stuff, I believe. Yeah, I'm gonna get two more pairs of sprint shoes. Okay. And down here is an inn. You can rest if you would like to. I like the music here. Let's grab a potion. Awesome. And we will talk to this guy. Oh yeah, so this must be Bannon. I mentioned him earlier. What? No one was trying to leave. Nice little reference to the Pandora's Box story game. I like it. Jeez, don't make such a big deal out of it, Bannon. Holy cow. Yeah, no pressure, Terra. No pressure at all. Here we are. Let's get a phoenix down. Awesome. Do I have... Yes. See, now why is it spelled like phoenix down? It's not a space limitation issue because Green Cherry has two more letters. You could easily spell phoenix the way you're supposed to and it would fit. So why did they do that? I will never know. Also, what is a tincture? Hmm. Okay, anyways, now what we're supposed to do is go around and talk to people. Get a little bit more uh, background info on them. Of course not, you're a JRPG character. Alrighty, so that's it for Locke. Now, before we talk to Sabin, make sure you come up here and examine the table. Huh, someone dropped paper. Now, you can either toss it in the trash or leave it on the floor. I'm going to leave it on the floor for now. Also, we'll come up here. There's a couple good items we could uh, pillage from this place. Another phoenix down. Awesome. Air Lancet is an air elemental dagger for luck. Antidote. And a tincture, alright. And let's go through a secret passage here. To get a white cape. White capes are really good. Um, it's one of my favorite accessories. Gives you defense, magic defense, and 10% magic block, which, as you are well aware of, is your evasion in this game, because physical evade is, is bugged. So your magic evade is essentially just your evade, period. And it also protects against Silence and Imp, so that's pretty nice for Terra. That's one of those secrets I, f I mentioned that I found that wasn't in the official strategy guides. Um, back when I was a kid and I, I just randomly found that, I, th I thought I was like, you know, king of the world. I was like, holy crap. It was so cool.
hold of me, you know? <laughs> I think back then there were two strat guides. Uh, one of them had um, the cartridge cover art on it with Mog in the corner. <laughs> and I think the other one had Sabbat on the cover with like a waterfall in the background or something. Um, I did have both of those. Uh, so, oh wait, we need to talk to Edgar still. So he is up here in the back. Oh, come on. Yeah, really? Well, at least they're nice enough to give Terra the chance to decide for herself. They're not putting a slave crown on her. Okay, so right now, uh, one of three things can happen. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and do a safe state here. And I will show you all three possible outcomes. Okay, how's it going? Sure, why not? I'll help you guys. I mean, you did rescue me from the Empire and all. It's the least I could do. And for saying yes to Bannon, he gives you... Army Lucky Charms. No. You get a gauntlet. If you remember, that could, that's essentially the two-handed ability from like earlier Final Fantasy games. Allows you to equip a weapon with two hands, doubling its battle power. The only drawback is you lose a shield, but it's a pretty good trade-off. The damage is amazing. Huh? Who left this paper here? <laughs> Did you see Terra laughing down there? <laughs> oh, game. I did not know about that the first few times I played the game, I'll be honest with you guys. <laughs> okay, so it looks like the Empire is doing research on magic. Mm -hmm. We kind of knew that already. No, it's just a rumor. And in all good RPGs, rumors are true. Always. Yeah, that sounds like what a Magitek uh, armor was. Just a machine that had, you know, magic bolts coming out of it. You saw what happened last time it, it woke up. It threw some eerie light at Vix and Wedge, and they just disappeared, man. I don't want to talk to that thing again. Evidently, it's it's too hard to save your game. Those eerie lights. Can't trust them. Uh, but yeah, basically the plan of action is to have Terra talk to the Esper and see if we can get it to join our side. Ominous music. Shilly shilly shally. Okay, 
Okay, so here, yeah, just to show this off, one weapon can be held with two hands to increase damage, and it increases your attack slightly. Man, look at Bannon. What's up with that hair, dude? Man, you're a savage. So that's one possible outcome, but let's see what happens if we say no to Bannon. See how that whole thing plays out. Okay, how's it going? No way. You're no different than the Empire. First they try to use me, and now you're trying to use me. No. Don't you know that when a lady says no, she means no, Bannon? I was sure the first two times. Now, saying no to Bannon three times triggers a different cutscene. Well, that's easy, Terra. You have the power to set your enemies on fire. And the rest plays out mostly the same from here on out. You just don't have that little meeting over there to the right. Although there is one difference if you say no to Bannon. Yeah, and the dialogue's the same, so just skip through it. Lecherous. It's a big word for you, Gail. I like how they do the villains in this game, though. It seems like they're always hot on our heels. I like it. Okay, this is where the scene differs. Even as we speak, innocent lives are being lost. And for saying no to Bannon three times, you get the almighty Genji Glove. Yeah. There are only three of those in the game. And that accessory allows you to equip two weapons, essentially giving you the dual wield command. I don't think anyone here even has the ability to use two weapons. No. Wait, where did... Did he... Oh yeah, that's right, he had the guardian dagger, which only Locke can equip. Okay. So, but I'll show that off real quick. Genji Glove gives you five defense, and allows you to equip two weapons, so... That's usually what I do as a kid, because I love the Genji Glove, and I love dual wielding. It's a great accessory. Really good for DPS. But what if you wanted both accessories? Say no to Bannon. Then you want to come up here. I believe it's this guy you talk to. Yes, and he will give you the Genji Glove. So you can say no to Bannon, and then come up here and get the Genji Glove from that soldier, then come back to Bannon and say yes, receive the gauntlet, and then the game will play on as normal. That's what I like to do. Because both the gauntlet and the Genji Glove are very good accessories in their own right. I'm a fan of both of them. And the rest of this plays out as you guys already saw so i'm gonna call this a video here and when we come back next time i will just meet you in the back room of the returners hideout and we'll make our way down the elite, route, elite river to Narsh. see if we can't evade the empire once again and uh see if this crazy plan of ours actually has a chance of working so until then guys have a good day and i'll see you in the next video